<laughs> welcome and um just wanted to welcome you. This is Kevin Michael Schmidt, celebrity fashion advertising photographer, TV director, and executive producer of the TV show Great Escapes that airs on CBS, as well as a couple of new shows coming out for Bravo as well. And um, I wanted to talk with you about launching your 2023 photographic brand, your marketing, your strategy, what to do this year. And I do this each year because to me, this is absolutely key and critical to essentially discover what the opportunities are in each year as each year obviously shifts as far as the creative industry photographic industry both consumer and commercial and i'm here to kind of keep you guys right to the pulse of it and um, help you identify what your key clients can be how to connect with them how to market to them and then essentially how to close the deal and actually book those jobs uh, become more successful as a photographer create the greatest images you've ever shot in your lifetime and then market them out and start booking more and more jobs so we have an incredible um uh, panelists today as well. Uh, they'll be joining us that um, uh, we're going to go in depth also about uh, something that I didn't even mention in all the marketing about this, but um, we're going to actually be discussing um, going through and obtaining representation in 2023 from an agent, from a photo photographic agent as well. That's going to be something we're going to cover today um, that I'm going to throw in there. Um, and I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one live with a photographer, one of my photographic um, stars that has attended some of our epic workshops. In fact, he just attended our masterclass. And we're going to be discussing uh, what we can do to essentially um, make uh, his photographic career take it to the next level and give him the opportunity to be represented by a major agent. So uh, welcome, guys. Uh, we're going to have a big audience on today. I'm really excited uh, to have you all on and to go in depth about what we can do to maximize our 2023 photographic journey. So um, and if you guys are you know new to, to me and um, don't know as much about uh, myself, you can take a look through um, a series of my websites from kevinschmitz.com. Uh, that's all about my fashion photography from shooting. I shoot major campaigns for Burberry, for Giorgio Armani. Um, I'm publishing over 200 magazine editorials. Um, and, uh, you know, I shoot a lot of large scale fashion productions. Also, um, I uh, have been known as a TV director. So uh, many of you guys also have watched my TV show, Great Escapes, that airs on CBS. And um, this kind of gives you a little taste of what that is all about. Um, and uh, you guys can take a look at Bucket List. This is essentially um, the new series of Great Escapes that we are filming uh, this year. In fact, I fly to the Maldives in about 12 days uh, to continue filming four great escapes and to continue featuring world-class ultra luxury five-star resorts um and uh i'm going to be filming them for episodes of a nationally um a televised tv show uh that go that airs on um cbs which is pretty exciting so um you know in addition to all of this uh you know i have um really delved into transitioning my photography to not only shooting photographic opportunities but also uh, to be able to shoot commercial campaigns because a lot of clients these days, and this is super hot for 2023, you guys, is to develop a photographic portfolio, 40 image cohesive body of work, and a video reel, a reel that can start marketing your photography and video together simultaneously so that you can get jobs and handle both sides of the production from being, being the video production company and the photographic production company. And to be able to see that uh, simultaneously is very, very uh, important. So um, making sure that uh, you guys can maximize your photographic and video production brand is very, very valuable. So um, I want you guys to um, start thinking about what is hot in 2023. And I can tell you what, every photographic agent that I've spoken to um, this past year has told me how important video is, how vital this is 
um, to be as successful in the industry is to also have a world-class video production reel, to be able to shoot content that can really wow and dazzle the client, not only photographic, but also video. So that's something that I do want to stress um, how important video is and how um, as a photographer, it's not just it's kind of like this add-on added value thing. It's more of a requirement these days. So if you're not on the video bandwagon, I definitely recommend you jump on because that's really big in 2023. And a lot of clients are looking to hire a production company that can do both. And why not handle both? I mean, and I want to tell you guys, this is a huge blessing for us because photographers, you know, we're traditionally not used to the same level of production that video production is as far as how much you can make. And this is an opportunity for, you know, instead of if you're shooting a commercial photo shoot, you know, I know a lot of photographers, if they're shooting product or they're shooting something um, catalog or something, they might be making 5000 maybe $10,000 per shoot. If they're shooting a large scale commercial advertising campaign, it can be anywhere from 30000 up to 150000 maybe even $200,000 a shoot. Um, but if you're shooting also the production and you're filming the commercial, commercial, oftentimes you can get even bigger budgets where they start at 100,000 and they go up into the seven figures. And you can handle it both as a photographer and as a director, but you're controlling the production. So this is something that's really big right now. And I do recommend you guys jump aboard because this is something that um, as a photographer, you can also, I mean, you're directing the sequences anyways, you're directing um, the, um, uh, the models anyways. Why not uh, get a more of a piece of the pie. I definitely think that's really important. Now, this year of 2023, I do want to talk about uh, what most of you guys are on right now. Uh, many of you are portrait photographers and consumer photographers. You're shooting personal branding for clients. And I do want to discuss this because this is absolutely huge right now is personal branding, branding and portraiture. And a, a lot of photographers, you know, they've been saying, woe is me. Oh my gosh, the photographic industry is changing. It's difficult, blah, blah, blah. I don't buy that for a second. The photographic industry is being is exploding. And after COVID, there's been so much pent up demand. In fact, when I did this webinar a year ago, coming into this past year, I, I went into depth about what's going to be big for, for this past year. For And you know what? Everything that we discussed on that webinar came to fruition. More money was spent than ever before on tourism, meaning resorts and hotels were spending huge amounts of money on their commercial advertising. Photographers and directors were cleaning up. OK, um, more there was consumer spending was at an all time high um, because um, money was being you know given out to people everywhere, not only in America, but also worldwide. So people were hiring photographers for portraiture. And now a lot of people have, have even gone into developing their own businesses, uh, whether they're speaking, whether they're um, doing some sort of services, accounting or legal or medical, whatever it is. But a lot of more people are becoming more of a brand these days. So personal branding is absolutely huge. And I want you guys to realize that there is so much opportunity in photographing personal branding for clients. But here's the challenge. And this is what I uh, have always been concerned about with my photographers, because I'm coaching thousands of photographers, is that many photographers are not earning what they should on their personal branding photo shoots. So I want you guys to think about, you know, how to essentially structure the uh, how much you're earning off of those photo shoots because personal branding is so big now. And I would look at the big picture. You're often going to have, um, you know, clients that are going to be, uh, oh, woe is me. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money, but um, I want to hire you to do all this photography for me and maybe even video for me. And I'm not going to pay you much because I'm not a big company. And that's BS. Okay. They are spending. If they're doing personal branding, that means they are spending. And if they're not spending on their photography, guess what? They're spending on something else, such as most of the time they're spending on the placement of that, their media buy, just like a big company does. You know, when I shoot a campaign for Pepsi or I'm shooting You Nice or Sassy or, um, you know, or Burberry, uh, I'm, I'm also being very mindful 
of the media buy because I'm going to be pricing my production based upon their media placement, right? So if the person's doing personal branding, I would ask a lot of questions and find out what this content is for. Is it for social media? Okay, great. Well, just because it's social for social media doesn't mean that it it's not a high budget. Oftentimes, um, social media is massive, okay? Absolutely massive as far as budget because they're probably spending a lot to market it. They're probably spending a lot. And most of the time, um, people spend a tremendous amount of money on their um, personal branding as far as how much their advertising dollars are. It becomes a lot, becomes a huge amount. So I definitely want to make sure that you guys uh, adapt your pricing based on how much they're spending. Now, um, I would, you know, the, the, the rule of thumb, which is uh, generally for, um, uh, for commercial advertising is 10% uh, to 15% of the media buy, right? So if the media buy for a big company is a million dollars, you should be charging $100,000 in usage. That's pretty standard, okay? Um, if the media buy for an individual, you know, if it's, um, uh, you know, if it's, I would say, uh, you know, $10,000 or $15,000 are going to market themselves as a personal brand or something, I would actually ratchet that up to more like 20% because obviously it's a smaller number. But I would definitely charge based upon the media placement spend. Now, definitely ask your client, you know, well, where are you using the content? And, and then even ask them, well, what's the budget? What are you spending on this? Because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very curious and I have to adapt um, the production and the usage based upon what you're using the images and content for. And this is standard. This is absolutely standard. You know, they're, if they want to be a professional and they want to compete at a high level, uh, then you've got to, you know, they've got to be able to be just like any other business and you need to treat them as such. Um, if it's a consumer client and um, they're doing, um, say, just portraiture, obviously we're not going to go to the media buy side, but I do want you guys to think about how much you're earning off of that client and make sure they're not taking advantage of you. There's so many photographers I speak to that are only charging a few hundred dollars of a portrait session or $500 for a portrait session. Not in this day and age, guys. With inflation, the price of everything going up, the value of your photography, what you can help them and bring them bring to the table. And if you offer video, you should be charging significantly more. You know, I, I feel a lot better when I'm talking to a photographer and I hear that they're making $5,000 on a portrait shoot, you know, and that's not unreasonable, especially with the kind of value that you're adding. If you're doing, you know, big prints for them, if you're shooting um, video content for them, if you're um, adding more value to what they're, uh, you know, what, what they're looking for, for their portraiture, add as much value as possible and then price accordingly. Instead of just competing on price, I want you guys in 2023 to compete on value. It is so important to compete on value because when we're competing on value, it's about your quality. It's about who you are as a photographer and a director. And you're competing based on the quality of what you offer rather than just being a commodity that's traded. You know, and that's really, really important because I talk to so many photographers that live in a rural regional area. You know, they're not in a major city. And by the way, guys, I'm broadcasting live here from Sydney, Australia. So I'm in, in Australia right now. And, I, you know, I can tell you um, if you're not in a major market and, you know, say you were even um, in um, rural America somewhere, um, you know, you're in Mississippi or Idaho or something like that. It doesn't even matter. Okay, not in this day and age. You can price yourself accordingly and you can market as a national brand, even as a consumer photographer. And I really recommend you guys do that this year. But it all comes down to developing a world class brand that can be marketed and competing at a national level. It is absolutely key. Now, um, I'm going to go in depth about a whole lot of things today as far as mastering your 23, um, your 2023. Uh, but uh, the first thing that's key and critical, whether you're a portrait photographer, a wedding photographer, commercial advertising photographer, fine art photographer, or even a TV director, is you've got to develop your brand. Okay. Now, uh, the brand is where it all begins. We're going to talk about marketing. We're going to talk about the, um, the next step, which is actually booking the clients as well, and even representation today, because we're going to be filling you guys with so much value and kind of secret strategies. But the most critical component to developing um, a bigger audience, an audience that has 
a higher taste that's willing to spend more money and you're going to earn more money per shoot is you've got to develop a brand that's world class. And what I mean by that is that you're competing at a national level. You're competing with the best in the world and the best in the country and way better than anyone you have in your region. And the best way to do that is to fill your portfolio with a 40 image cohesive body of work. Cohesion meaning the images all correlate together in a common feel. They can be different themes, but there has to be a common feel within the story of your 40 image cohesive body of work in your master portfolio. Now, the master portfolio, of course, you know, what I'm referring to is generally seen online on your website. However, I do, even in 2023, even though I know that everything's digital now, I still am an advocate of having a printed portfolio. I still, when I go and meet with decision makers in person, I love to bring a big, beautiful, blue suede 11 by 14 portfolio with me, in addition to an iPad that can show video and it can show additional photographic portfolios. But either way, whether you're showing uh, just the digital version or the digital plus the um, printed version, and you're having a social media version on Instagram, I still, you've got to have a 40 image minimum cohesive body of work. So what that entails, the rule of thumb of that is I would say you've got to have at least 25 to 30 images that are what I would consider iconic. Okay. And iconic images are images that are going to just rock the socks off of the client. It could have celebrities. It could have supermodels. It could be major publications, or it just could be images that are so epic and over the top that it just has impact, right? We're looking for images with impact. And that's really, really important. So if you have images with impact, whether you're a consumer or a commercial photographer, images with impact will make all the difference. It will be like, wow, okay, these images have impact, they stand alone, and they have this really powerful feel, look, feel, and style. And if I you know, hire this photographer, then I'm more interested. I'm like, okay, I know what I'm going to get. I can have wowed and dazzled. I love the art direction, the storytelling. I love... Um, the locations. I love all the props, like whether you have like, you know, animals in it or, you know, amazing uh, props of bags or, or vehicles or whatever it is and telling dramatic stories and creating content that is just purely iconic and award-winning. This is key. This is important. And this is something that I want you guys really to push for this coming, for this year is iconic images. Because if you have iconic images, they will stand out. They will rock the socks off of your clients. They will wow and dazzle your clients, whether they're consumer or commercial, and you're more likely to book jobs. And you now have enough value because you've proven yourself to be able to make more money as a photographer, to charge more. Really, absolutely important. Absolutely key and important. And by the way, I'm launching a series of polls, and I always love to do this on each and every one of my webinars. And um, I'm I'm launching one now because, of course, one of the best things about uh, what everything I'm talking about is that we also offer these world class five day elite photographic experiences where I guarantee you're going to shoot the greatest images of your entire lifetime at these photographic workshops. Okay. And I don't care if you've been shooting for 30 years or 40 years, it doesn't even matter. My photographers are crushing it and shooting the greatest images of the lifetime. And the reason is production value, quality of models. Just like you see here, this image is shot at our elite masterclass. And when you're shooting at a 30,000 square foot water studio with parachutes and supermodels from Vogue and a Vogue fashion stylist, you know what? you're going to have the best images of your career. You're going to be able to compete at the highest level. You're going to be able to be considered to shoot potentially for Vogue or Harper's Bazaar, or Vanity Fair, Versace, Burberry, Giorgio Armani. You're going to be at the next echelon of your photography. And if you're not interested in any of that and you just do consumer photography, I can guarantee you you're going to book more clients and you're going to be able to charge massively more as a wedding or portrait photographer, headshot photographer, or personal branding photographer with content like this. It'll change the game. It'll transform your life. So if you're interested in any of our epic experiences coming up, um, either way, I would love for you guys 
uh, to let me know on the poll, which photographic workshops would you be interested in? By the way, this one was shot at our Elite Masterclass in Los Angeles. Our panelists today, um, one of our panelists today, uh, attended our Elite Masterclass, which I'm really excited to talk with him um, about it. Um, the great Scott Goodwin. Um, and we also uh, offer experiences like we have coming up in Newport Beach. Scott's also going to be joining us in Newport Beach. He had enrolled in those two, um, which I'm really excited about. Newport Beach is all about lifestyle, commercial advertising, and the highest earning of all photography, which is commercial lifestyle advertising photography. Okay. This is photography that is all about telling stories, art directing stories, creating these moments allowing them to unfold and then capturing these moments that will stand the test of time. And a content like this, for instance, this was shot um, at our uh, Newport Beach workshop last year. And what I love about this is this tackles everything. Literally, we are shooting with lifestyle, top lifestyle models. That, by the way, Christina uh, Messinoff, the, the model on the left, she's a big supermodel now. Uh, she's been on the cover of um, uh, Glamour magazine this month. Um, she's been in Cosmo. She's been landing some of the biggest campaigns. She's one of the hottest top models in the world right now. Um, the um, girl in the center there, um, Hannah Danley, is one of the top lifestyle models in the world. These are world-class agency-represented models, some of the best in the world on commercial lifestyle. And this story tells we have a professional food stylist. So there's food styling. There's a farm to table inference here where we have a Highland cow in the background connected with wine glasses. So we've got wine, we've got food, we have farm to table with animals, we have people having fun, enjoying the experiences. It has everything. Content like this is marketable highly marketable. And the video content from this is extremely valuable. And it's something you can market out to your audience and land commercial advertising campaigns. Okay. This is absolutely key and critical. So this would be an example of a lifestyle commercial advertising story, very valuable for consumer photographers as well that want to get into personal branding, portraiture, headshots, all of that, because we're working with a very down home, more of a lifestyle story to something like this and creating these epic moments that are also award-winning. And by the way, guys, that's another thing I do want to talk about. We just finished um, the year. Uh, we had literally hundreds of our photographers um, have, have been winning awards. They have been crushing it. They have been, you know, taking it to the next level in their photography. This last year, we won 107 photographic awards. This year, I think we're going to, you know, we're obviously going to massively add to that. This last year, we won the top seven out of 10 Fashion Photographers of the Year Award. We're all from the Photography Workshop Series. And we're going to keep adding to that. So this is all epic content. Um, we have lifestyle workshops in Newport Beach, um, Miami Beach, Chicago. Uh, and we have a section on lifestyle and Virginia, which is all um, like Virginia, Washington, D.C. area. Unbelievable content. Incredible experience. And we also offer a section at our Elite Masterclass. So anyway, I just like to throw that out there because this is something that if you guys are interested in pursuing commercial lifestyle advertising, portraiture, consumer, um, personal branding, wedding photography, uh, even I have a lot of landscape and fine art photographers that attend these experiences, it will take you to the highest level of your photographic potential. Um, we also have really creative and fun scenes like this. We're shooting with alpacas. Um, we have age diversity, ethnic diversity. Um, we create these really incredible stories. Um, and these are the most marketable, um, beautiful and spectacular images that I definitely recommend in a commercial lifestyle advertising portfolio. In fact, Scott Goodwin, our panelist on today who attended the Masterclass, this Scott is something that I want to push for you in 2023 is developing a tremendous amount of this content um, so that you have a 40 image cohesive body of work of commercial lifestyle advertising to join your world-class um, photography that you've been shooting over the years and the content that you just shot at the masterclass. Um, this is another uh, top supermodel, uh, CJ Franco. Um, she also aired on um, a, a couple of TV shows for Netflix. She was one of the stars of the show. Um, she's become kind of a big deal celebrity as well. She was also at one of our uh, three of our workshops um, over the years. So we bring in top talent. This is key, guys. 
And when I'm mentioning these names and some of these faces, these are recognizable faces. And it's so interesting because whether they're huge before the workshop or huge after the workshop, I always hear from my attendees, oh my gosh, did you just see, you know, she just landed the Victoria's Secret campaign or, oh, you know, I just saw her in Vogue again. Oh, she's in Harper's Bazaar. Oh, I just saw her on the Netflix special. I hear this constantly from my photographers. Literally every week I'm hearing about this because I we only select the creme de la creme, the best of the best models in the world um, to be at our epic workshops. And by the way, I'm sharing the results right now. Um, it looks like the majority of you are interested in more of our lifestyle workshops, which is awesome, um, from Newport Beach to Miami Beach. Um, that is fantastic. Um, Miami, also, we bring in some of the biggest supermodels that have been in Victoria's Secret, Sports Illustrated, Playboy, um, and uh, we shoot these mind-blowing content. In addition to Lifestyle Resort, we also shoot um, high-end swim um, photography, uh, photography and video, um, which is really exciting because the Miami Beach experience uh, is also on Lifestyle and Swim. So if you're developing a portfolio for 2023, um, this is one of the reasons we're discussing this, is invest in your body of work. It is everything. I can't tell you enough. It is everything. Your brand, your brand identity from your social media page to your website to your email marketing um, and the branding on that to um, all aspects, your port printed portfolio, your letterhead, everything needs to be aligned. And having content from video content just like this that we shot, by the way, in Miami Beach, having content that is world class, that is going to just wow and dazzle the clients having photographic content to match the video content like we do at each and every one of our five-day photographic workshops, it, it literally will transform your photographic career in 2023. Transform you. Photographers before the workshop, after the workshop, they're a completely different person oftentimes. they it, the, the level of confidence, the level of quality, the level of um, commitment they have to their new brand it is really spectacular. It's something that I personally get really excited about because I'm here along with my professional photographic consultants that are on my team to help coach you guys, to mentor you guys, and help achieve the greatness and the success that you've always wanted to achieve photographically in your career because it's key. It's absolutely the most important thing to me. It's why I founded the Photography Workshop Series 14 years ago, and we're by far the most elite the largest and the most high-end photographic workshop in the world, hands down, that shoots fashion, lifestyle, and swim. We are the creme de la creme when it comes to that. And obviously, you can see it in the success of all of our incredible awards that we've been winning over the years and all the major publications um, and photographers landing huge campaigns like shooting for Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, it's it's incredible. And to just to showcase some of that success, um, here are some of our award winners um, from this past year, which I'm really, really proud of. And we're going to be having a whole bunch of winners rolling in and already have um, for, our, for this past year, which I'm, um, or for this new year, so that I'm really, really excited about. Um, but uh, seven out of 10 of the top photographers in America in the One Island Awards were all directed, art directed, and produced by me and photographed by our attendees at our elite experiences, which I'm really, really proud of. All right, guys. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, bring on some panelists today. And I also really um, would love for you guys to ask some questions in the q and I'd love to hear some questions um, about, you know, what the forecast is for 2023, um, what some strategies might be, if you're interested in obtaining representation, if you're interested in fueling your marketing, you know, what's next for you? I'm here to discuss it. And, um, and and go in depth about that. And by the way, guys, developing content like this, uh, we're looking at right now, th these epic images, these are considered iconic images that are world-class. And the reason being is because of the production value, the quality, the level of top models, the level of styling, the every aspect of this, the reason they're winning awards and our photographers are crushing it is because of the quality, okay? And of course, to do this, these are scaled at about $100,000 a day productions. Like if you were to, if I was a producer for a commercial client, they'd be scaled at about $100,000 a day. That, that's what I would be 
um, uh, that, that's what the, the budget would be for a client at this scale. These are shooting with, we're, we're having motorhomes on production, several models, sometimes five, six, seven, eight models, shooting with 1940s fighter planes, shooting with doing a whole Mad Max story in the desert, shooting at a water studio with top designers, shooting with owls, hawks, eagles, horses, unbelievable content like this. And it's extremely, extremely expensive especially now in 2023 with inflation where it is the level of production cost has massively increased right so i would allocate your resources purely to investing in your body of work in your photographic portfolio and for your marketing of that portfolio and i'm going to actually step by step show you how to market your portfolio right now which is something that um is a very kind of like lift the veil showcase i'm going to walk you through utilizing the agency access and how to max how to basically select a list and then market to that audience using my email campaign or social media and all aspects to actually book jobs uh based upon that and that's something that i'm also instigating my own personal branding campaigns marketing campaigns right now and i'm going to showcase to you how to do it and lift the veil. But it all starts with investing in your photographic portfolio. This is what I have done immensely over the years. And it's one of the biggest reasons I found the photography workshop series. One was because I realized after doing my bachelor's and my MFA to be a professor of photography, I realized that, you know what, walking out with what I had, which was like $150,000 in debt and just a crappy student portfolio is not going to cut it. Or if you've been shooting for 30 years and you're not shooting for Vogue and at the highest level, but you've been shooting, you know, maybe doing some cool stuff, but never reaching the level that you've always wanted to achieve, it's not going to magically just to happen overnight if it hasn't over 30 years. The only way to do it is to invest in yourself, to develop a world-class body of work, a cohesive portfolio that's highly marketable with supermodels in that portfolio to create content that is going to just knock the socks off of clients that you can market to your consumer clients or commercial clients and take it to the next level. It is absolutely the most vital thing. And I've realized this and I know this and this. So I, I founded the workshop series as my mission to transform photographic education and to help take photographers from all aspects at any level. I have photographers that have shot eight covers of Vogue. I have photographers that have never done a photo shoot before. All levels, and I'm able to get them to the highest level of their potential. But part of it starts with this, shooting with supermodels. Really makes a difference. And using my connections, my people, all of my relationships, you know, my massive scale, unbelievable, 10 million to $40 million mansion estate locations that I've access to unbelievable locations like, um, you know, cracked earth deserts, like we're going to be at in Las Vegas to unbelievable $40 million estates in Greenwich, Connecticut. I mean, I've got access to this. And what you guys are doing is getting access to all my relationships, all my connections. So this is key. This is something. So if you guys, please, um, uh, if you guys can answer in the poll, uh, what is your budget for developing your photographic portfolio? This is pretty important. For 2023, we need to budget out everything. We need to budget out how much you're spending on equipment this year. How much are you spending on portfolio? How much are you spending on your marketing? And as a word of advice, your equipment should be zero. There is no reason if you have a camera and you have a couple of lenses, you don't need any more gear. Sorry, you don't. Don't waste it on gear. And if you have spent it on gear, then don't waste any more on gear. Spend it on yourself, on your brand. It's the only thing that matters. I've never met a client in my entire career. I don't care if it was for Pepsi or for Burberry. I've never met a client that asked me, hey, Kevin, which camera are you shooting this campaign with? They don't even know. They don't care. Honestly, I could shoot it with my iPhone and they wouldn't even be aware of it because it's about the same quality as the, the professional cameras. The only difference is, is that these days I want to shoot with a, a camera that also has world-class 8K video. So I'm shooting with a, a camera, that, an R5 that shoots with 8K video. And, um, but, uh, you know, if I have a major client that's booking me on a big job and I don't have the equipment, what I do is I will buy the gear and rent it back to myself, just like I do on all my budgets, 
really important. So, um, so guys, please, uh, if you haven't answered that, please do. Um, and um, I'd love to get in depth with you and actually showcase you one by one. And I think um, before I bring my panelists on, um, I do want to show you uh, what I'm doing here with um, how I'm marketing. So if you develop this epic portfolio, you know, this is this is great stuff um, with, uh, you know, the, this. So say, you know, and, and say you came to one of our epic uh, photographic experiences, you know, say you came to our Miami beach workshop experience, you shot epic lifestyle. This is, this is images shot with these top models that we shot with, um, in April this year. Um, we shot with the SLS Miami beach. We also went down to Key Biscayne. It was unbelievable experience. And you shot this epic content. Okay. The next step is to market it. Okay, so I use something called Agency Access. There's also another company um, called Bikini List, um, and um, but Agency Access. There's been a lot of companies, AdBase, a lot of um, uh, their Yoda List. They've all been kind of swallowed up into just basically two companies. And um, I uh, I have Agency Access, and I um, I do pay for the list. It's it's a big investment. It's expensive, but when you have access to this, you can start to market to these decision makers. So. Um, you can create lists. You can also search for specific brands. Okay. So if I'm going to go and be like, okay, you know, I, um, I, um, I, I just shot like resort lifestyle. Um, maybe let's look for pre free people, the free people band. Okay. Well, it brings up uh, Anna Hartle. Um, she's the executive creative director at free people. Um, uh, Dante uh, Frangipani, he's the art producer at Free People. Okay, so he's probably the first person I'm going to contact. He's based in Philadelphia, um, and um, I've got his direct email address right here. And then um, I can contact uh, him through the company because I have the phone number to the company, um, and I can ask for Dante. And I'm going to uh, share with him this amazing content. And, um, you know, just like this, shot with Free People. And um, I've got, you know, top models right in line with what, you know, free people is doing. And then I'm going to, you know, say I'm going to send them an email. I'm going to add them on LinkedIn. I'm going to message him on Facebook. I'm going to call him. I'm going to personally email follow up with him. And I'm going to call him again. And if he doesn't pick up, I'm going to call him again. But I'm going to keep reaching out until Dante responds. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out to Dante with a value proposition. Because you know what? Dante, of course, is being hit up by everybody that you know has this database and everybody that wants to shoot free people. It's a very popular brand. Um, and it's a brand I actually incorporate tremendously into our Epic workshops. So might as well. Might as well approach free people and you know um, see if uh, they want to work with me show him content that's specific to what free people is doing and um and with top models wearing free people and see if i can land his campaign or at least land the catalog that they're shooting you know regularly i mean i get these things in the mail like every week they're these big catalogs from free people and um they're spending money on it they're big production shoots so I'm going to reach out to him and I'm going to you know share with him content I'm going to share a drip of content usually just one image with a short message. And the message of Dante would be something along the lines of, you know, hey, Dante, um, you know, I was so impressed with the latest catalog that you guys just came out with um, and campaign. Um, I, um, I'd i love to know, um, you know, uh, if you guys are considering photographers, I'd love to throw your my hat in for the next project. Something simple like that. And, um, and then I would call them to follow up. But make sure you're messages are only about one or two sentences long. It shouldn't be longer than that. The longer they are, the less likely they are to read them. And the shorter and more to the point they are, uh, the quicker, the, the, might, the more likely they might get back to you. In addition to all of this, I'm also going to send a systematic email campaign. I use Constant Contact um, as well as um, Send in Blue and MailChimp. Um, and historically, I've also used things like um, uh, Infusionsoft Keep, uh, HubSpot. I've used MyBizMailer. I've used pretty much every email system under the sun. Um, and what I do is I create a systematic email campaign to follow up with Dante to also share with him on a regular basis um, in anywhere from uh, once or twice a week, email updates about stuff that I'm shooting related to free people. Okay. So I would contact him, right? I mean, and this is somebody I would directly reach out to. You know, and it's the same thing if, you know, you want to look at, um, uh, you know, Dolce Gabbana um, or you want to look at Versace or you want to look at, um, you know, Burberry. 
And um, we get to look up and find, um, for instance, the Versace uh, VP of marketing communication. I would, um, you know, uh, reach out to, um, to Marty um, and um, I'm going to be uh, calling Marty. Um, and it looks like um, I, uh, you know, doesn't have his email listed. Sometimes they opt out. Um, but, uh, you know, oftentimes um, their emails are like first name dot last name at Versace.com. So oftentimes it's that. And I could even look up other people at Versace and see if that's the same um, iteration of their email address so I can contact them. But either way, I'm going to call him. I'm going to add him on LinkedIn. I'm going to reach out and I'm going to systematically approach him with content that I think is really strong, content that is um, going to wow and dazzle him, images uh, that are what I would consider uh, iconic you know, and, um, and I would showcase, you know, content like this. So different brand that I'm showing to Versace as I'm showing to free people, very important. And I want you guys to do that in 2023. Don't be a jack of all trades, master of none, be a master of each and every single one of your trades. Okay. Really important to do that. So it doesn't matter that I shoot high fashion. I also shoot lifestyle advertising. I also shoot swim photography. I also shoot resort. I, I mean, do all these different things and that's okay. Totally okay. Each one of those different types of clients needs to think that I'm an expert in each and every one of those um, specific fields. Really important. Okay. So another, and, and before I get to my panels, I also want to showcase another thing here, and that is um, the creation of a list. So in addition to just reaching individual people, I like to use this, and this is what I would do for 2023. Um, I created a list in agency access, and this has um, the top 13,739 decision makers at all the ad agencies and marketing companies um, in uh, North America that uh, specifically art producers and creative directors. Okay, this that has the art directors and creative directors. So um, if you know, I click on a company so I can see this. Um, so I've got uh, One Trick Pony. It's a big ad agency. Um, their creative director. Uh, Jay Hillier, Julia Patrick, Rob Reed, and those are people that I would reach out to at that company, um, and um, and you know, or look at a major um, agency like 180 LA, which is a huge agency, um, and these are, and of course, they might have 200 art directors, but art directors are valuable too. But if I'm going to really focus, hyper focus my marketing, I'm probably going to spend it more on art producers and creative directors. Okay. And what, and, and the difference is, is a creative director is somebody at an advertising agency who's coming up. He's kind of the, the, he or she is, is essentially the overall concept maker. And they have art directors underneath them that are coming up with the concepts, but they are the overall guiding the direction of the campaign. Okay. Think of Mad Men. If you ever seen that show and you think of um, the character that um, Don Draper in it, who is the, he's the creative director and becomes like executive creative director. And they're the ones that are essentially leading the campaigns and the pitches. So they are the creative, you know, key because they're the ones, you know, going to be essentially hand selecting the photographers with the client and also the art producer now, um, uh, you know, or the production coordinator, like um, Danielle's a production coordinator, but if they have an art producer, that's even more um, important. Okay, because the art producer is going to be the person that is essentially uh, producing the shoots. So they're handling the budget with you. Okay, meaning they're handling the um, the budget as far as if it's, you know, it's a $150,000 job, um, you know, you're going back and forth with them over the budget. So um, that's essentially what the art producer is in charge of is managing that and getting bids on the job. Okay, so this is another big agency, 72 and Sunny. This is another Los Angeles one. This is right by my house in Hermosa Beach. This one's in, in um, the Playa Vista, El Segundo area. Um, I've met with them numerous times. Um, so, uh, you know, Clarissa would be the art producer. She would be a senior art producer. I definitely need to get in touch with her, meet with her if I can, even take her to lunch if possible. But normally it's going to their agency, bringing a spread of wine and cheese, showing my portfolio in person, building that relationship. If they're not willing to do that, then just get on Zoom, meet face to face, showcase your content, just like I'm doing to you guys right now and build a relationship. So now it's face to face and do everything you can to get face to face with these people. Very, very, very important. Okay. 
So anyway, I'm showing you kind of the behind the scenes. I'm also going to export this list of 13,700 people, and I'm going to be systematically marketing to them using an email system. So that, uh, and, and specifically, I think I'll use constant contact and I will systematically market to these people uh, to um, offer them production services, shooting campaigns, um, photographic and video campaigns. And oftentimes these people are handling both and they want to see people that can do both. Okay. So anyway, without further ado, um, and I'm and I've got more to get into, but I want to bring on uh, our expert panelist here. Um, we have the great Scott Goodwin, and um, I'd love for you to jump on, Scott. And um, you're an incredibly talented photographer. Um, I'm really proud of everything you've shot uh, before the workshop, and also the content that you've shot at the workshop is unbelievable. So um, I'm really, really proud. And I know Scott just messaged me about all his final retouch images. Um, and uh, obviously we wanna get those published and we wanna get those out as much as possible and winning awards. Um, by the way, this is Scott's incredible work. This is the great Scott Goodwin um, and his incredible photography. So he's a super talented photographer. Um, so Scott, welcome. And I'm so grateful that you jumped on today. Um, and thank you so much. You joined us live at our Elite Masterclass in October um, in Los Angeles. And um, in fact, uh, you I, I recognize some images from that masterclass um, on your website, which is incredible. So, um, Scott, um, first of all, why don't you tell me about, um, you know, what your goals are going forward photographically, kind of what's next for you in 2023, what you want to achieve? Oh, you're you're muted. By the way, sorry, you're muted, Scott. There you go. How's that? There he is. Hi, gang. Um, I'm Scott. I'm in Boston, or just north of Boston. Um, what was the question you asked, there, Kevin? What do I want to do this year? What are your goals? What what what's next for you in 2023? You know, and what about the workshops got you excited and made you want to attend the workshops to kind of achieve those goals? Well, I've been doing this for over 30 years, which is tough to say. Um, it's all I pretty much do, uh, and it's all I've done. Uh, I've been very fortunate being very booked up for years and years, and I, I have slow spells like everybody else does too. Um, I just want to get bump it up a level. Uh, I shoot a lot of catalog. I'm kind of stuck in that genre right now. I want to do a little higher end stuff, uh, more stuff like this stuff. Um, that's something I did for Reebok years ago, but you know, it's just uh, you know, I want to get out there more. Um, I've, with Kevin's help, um, I, I didn't even know Kevin was a year ago and I went to the master class, had a great time, really enjoyed it, got some great stuff. And I'm uh, heading back uh, next month to Newport beach. Um, I just want to, uh, bump up the portfolio and be a little more well-rounded for things like lifestyle, which is what you and I were talking about. I'll, you know, I'll do more of that stuff. Um, so, um, ask me a question. I can answer it. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you, you've had a lot of success. You're a super successful photographer. Obviously, you're a super talented photographer um, and, you know, shooting big campaigns and everything like that. But what's next for 2023? Do you want to shoot larger campaigns? Are there certain budgets that you want to achieve? Do you want to ob obtain representation? Um, what type of photography? Because you kind of have a various different types. You've got portraiture, you've got um, more catalog, you have food and drink, you have product, you have jewelry, you've got lifestyle, you have fashion, you're kind of all over the place, you're jack of all trades. So tell me what, which specific, uh, genres do you want to target and what level of goals do you want to achieve? I'd like to do more lifestyle. Um, one of the things I enjoy doing different things. I love being on, I'm doing fashion all next week. So I love doing fashion for a week and then being in the studio doing product or something, you know, just the change is really nice. Um, you know, as everybody knows, being on the road just gets overwhelming, but you know, it, it's, it's great. But after a week like that, again, it's nice to be in the studio someplace close and easy, um, get home in a reasonable time. But again, I like doing everything. So that's one of my biggest issues is that I enjoy too many things. Uh, you know, I would like to find a representation this year for some help and a little bit of guidance. Uh, like, again, I said, I'd like to do everything if I had, uh, more of a partner, or an agent that would like to see me go in more direction, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I've had different reps over the years and they've been great, but uh, you know, I, again, I shoot different things. And it's funny, because if people like you, they know what you can do, they tend to trust you whenever you, oh, can you do this, can you do that? And that's what kind of gives you a, a rounded portfolio. 
um, I shoot a lot of jewelry, a lot of diamonds. And uh, it took a while to learn, but I enjoy doing that type of thing. So I like to incorporate things like that more over the fashion. So more lifestyle fashion with jewelry, uh, I would love to do uh, on nice locations. Um, you know, and again, I'm, I'm looking for representation and I really never advertised. Uh, so with my, I just had an intern for three months, which was great. We got, we have three websites now, two Instagram accounts. And again, this is with Kevin's help as well. I tried to split things up a little more. So I specialized just, I have a business website, a jewelry website and a jewelry Instagram account. Um, so Kevin's been helping me kind of funnel my broad range of things to be a little more specialized, or at least to have that illusion of having just these specialties that people can adhere to basically. Um, and, okay, excellent. And, and do you have a certain numerical number, like the uh, level of production value, uh, budgets you want to achieve, certain clients that you want to get this year? The financial goal really isn't there. It's more, I just want to be busy and do, you know, of course, the bigger, fancier, bigger budgets would be great. Uh, I'm very comfortable doing any of that stuff. So it's just really just being busy. I really enjoy being busy. I'm an ADD type of guy. I love being straight out. Um, you know, one of the things I've never really done, like I started to say, was uh, advertising and promoting myself. So that's one thing I'm starting to do now with Kevin's help is I get the agency access and all that stuff. And uh, we've been sending out email blasts and things, which has been great. People, you know, get some good responses. So I'm trying to do that. It's just something I haven't done. I'm booked for the next three weeks. So I get nervous where I'm a one man band. So, you know, for me to have the time to do that at the same time I'm shooting is difficult. And that's one of the reasons I need extra help, like an agent. So. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, and uh, what uh, when, when you want representation, that's more so just as a partner in kind of landing the campaigns, managing the budgets, or what What do you want the agent to, to help you with? To market yourself? What, what What's the key for you with I the agent? I think marketing, you know, certainly to, to lean on them as far as helping with the budgets. And I have worked with some big, big reps. I mean, there's, there's a rep that's close to me and I know him personally. He only reps uh, people from outside the United States, but when there's a job that he hears about locally or needs something done quick, he'll call me, uh, which has been great. And uh, you really learn from a big, you know, big reps, reps get a lot of business. Um, and it's a lot of repeat business and, and people just believe them and say, this is it, and, you know, they go for it. Um, so to get that, you know, that, that feedback and the input from some of these uh, higher caliber people is great. It really helps. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, I've been repped by four different reps in my career and I'm going to kind of share with you because you asked me this yesterday or the other day about um, essentially how to obtain a rep and what should I do? Kind of what's the next step? Where's the, where, you know, where do I find the reps? And, you know, you had a few questions about it. So I wanted to kind of showcase um, some of my ways of obtaining representation and kind of secret strategies, um, Scott, and do it live with you. So first of all, um, I love how you've started to break up your photography. You mentioned that you have multiple websites. I think that's brilliant. Um, and um, I would um, also separate and have a fashion website. Right. And I would have a commercial yeah. lifestyle website. After and have you know it. I'll be doing, yeah. Yep. And this commercial lifestyle, which you got a taste of at the masterclass, because we did a couple of days of it, I would, I really want you to focus on this. This is where all the, the, the big projects are going to be. Um, this is the stuff the agents are going to be going after. Um, as far as representation, you know, this is where the most marketable and profitable side is. So that's usually where agents go. So if you want to go after representation, going after more content like this with top model. I love these models too, top models. And I also love how you not only have it as kind of a lifestyle fashion shop, but you also incorporated jewelry. It's beautiful. So you kind of have it all in here. Um, but uh, I would definitely develop a really powerful 40 image cohesive body of work of this content, just like this, right in line with this. And I know you shot even more of that um, at the workshop, the mass I'd love to see more of it. Um, and, um, and I would also, um, love for you to now market that to it, this specific, um, audience of agents. Now, the best way to do this is to go, there's a great website, Scott, um, that's, uh, it's called, um, the agent list.com. And, um, I love this website. It's a free website. You can get on here, it has all the photography agents worldwide. 
And um, it's got uh, in, in, in especially all the ones in the US that you wouldn't want you want to go for. Um, I would recommend probably New York would be the area that I would go after um, because uh, you live in Boston, so you're not far from New York. So I would go after all the agents in New York. And as you can see, there's a ton of them, right? So um, uh, I would start uh, reaching out to um, uh, as many of these agents as possible. And um, I would uh, start, um, first of all, having that cohesive body of work that you want to market. You don't want to appear like a jack of all trades. So you have to market yourself as a certain brand. So if is it like, hey, I'm the jewelry guy or hey, I'm the lifestyle guy. So each agent is going to look for something, something specific. Sometimes an agent has... Uh, a stable of a bunch of different photographers, as you know, like they might have the the guy that does jewelry and then the the, the woman that does food and then, you know, the, the, the woman that does fashion and then the guy that does lifestyle. So some agents are like that. Some agents um, have only one thing and all they do is, uh, you know, one type of uh, photography. And so all the reps look very similar. You know, so a lot of, you know, so every, every, obviously everyone's different, but um, it, some agents are, are more like um, a jack of all trades kind of thing, or I shouldn't say the agency is a jack of all trades and each uh, photographer is a specialist in those trades, right? Or they have one uh, cohesive look. Um, for instance, there's uh, Alyssa Pizer is a good example. Um, uh, all of her photographers look identical. So um, uh, let me see if I can find her in here. Um, but I, I know... Um, uh, Alyssa Pizer. Um, if, um, if you go to her website, all of her photographers like literally look, um, the same. It's almost like, um, they are the same person. <laughs> so, uh, it, you know, when you, when you type in, um, uh, Alyssa Pizer, um, they end up, um, all kind of having a, you know, like this ubiquitous similar look and they all look the same and you would want to fit in with those photographers. Right. And if it's another agency like art and commerce, they all look a little different, but they're all, um, you know, uh, um, uh, different type of photographer that kind of goes along with it, but they all kind of have a different brand. Now there's a little variation here, but generally all these, uh, photographers she represents are lifestyle or lifestyle fashion. Right. Um, so, you know, so that's a very specific thing. Um, if you go to a, um, uh, you know, a, a rep that does, um, you know, that has uh, stuff like um, uh, that also you see that they do more product and maybe food, jewelry, things like that. Um, that's also can be a, a good thing you might personally want to look at because they do a lot of different types of, um, of photography and they might be interested in your jewelry. Right. But then you also have to run into the issue, Scott, where you don't want to, if they already have somebody in the roster that's just like you, you have to differentiate yourself. So that's a whole nother thing, you know, is do you differentiate, differentiate yourself as somebody else um, that, uh, you know, that does something a bit different. So, um, you know, for instance, if I go to another website where it has a little bit more of a variation, like uh, this is um, 2D management. And, um, you know, I don't know, I don't really see anyone who does jewelry, you know, they do some women's fashion, some men's fashion. Um, but it's not really necessarily um, your jam, but they, oh, I do see some product and stuff like that. Um, but they're going after those types. And these are like kind of the latest uh, campaigns from that specific photographer. So maybe you could approach them as, hey, I'm the jewelry guy. Do you have any clients that, you know, need jewelry photography kind of thing? Or I can bring mine to the table. But here's the key. Regardless of which agency you go for, Scott, um, what I do want to suggest to you is that it doesn't matter necessarily how good your photography is in the end. It's a matter of how many jobs do you have booking. The agents see it as dollars and cents. And my suggestion for you is when you're going after uh, a photography agent, you want to make sure that they are excited about you and about what you can bring to the table to them, right? Now, of course, a lot of drivers don't like that. It's like, oh, well, I already have my house clients. Do I want to really give them to the agent? Well, that that's an issue you might have to, you know, reconcile with. Or, um, you know, do you want to just maybe the new clients that you get with that agent um, that you are currently marketing to? And this is what I always did. 
my secret to obtaining representation is that what I did was I would take my um, projects that I'm bidding on. So remember, we went over those ad agencies. If I'm bidding on a, a campaign for 72 and Sunny because I've been marketing to them and building the relationship and I'm bidding on a campaign, if I throw my hat into the ring, I contact, I go on this list and I look at all these agents and I'll contact eight to 10 of these, these agents. And Scott, I'm going to ask them the question. I'm just going to call them up. I'm just going to call, one by one. I'm going to call these agents, you know, that I that I would want to be represented by, and I'm going to call them up. And um, oh, you know, um, you know, hey, Agent Mel, um, you know, oh, this is this is Scott Goodwin. I I um, you know, I love the the stuff that you guys that you guys are doing. I'm um, I'm I'm actually a commercial photographer. I'm bidding on this campaign. I can't tell you the name of the client, but I will let you know the parameters of it. It's a three-day shoot. Um, you know, they want um, national usage. It's going to be, um, we're, we're going to shoot with four models. Uh, it's going to be at, you know, these three different locations. Give them kind of some of the parameters. Um, and uh, it's going to be used for print. And it's going to be used for billboard. And it's going to be used for social. What do you think would be the right usage that I should charge on this? Now, I don't care if you've never spoken to these people before. If it's out of the blue call, I can guarantee you the majority of these agents will talk to you about this. They will give you their advice because a couple of things. One is it's in their best interest that you're going to bid high because if their photographers go against you, then they, you know, they want to have a chance. Um, it's also um, a great opportunity for you now to per perk their ears up because they're like, oh, Scott Goodwin, who's this guy? He's on my radar now. He's bidding on this job. This should be a two hundred thousand dollars job. Oh, that's awesome! Who is this Scott guy? And he looks at they look at your work. Oh yeah, I like his work. Wow, you know this is this is really great work that you have here, Scott. I'm I'm impressed. Um, and uh, you know this and oh okay, it's this lifestyle campaign. Um, and this this you know this fancy jewelry line. They wanna um you know they wanna hire you to do this and they want a whole lifestyle. Okay, all right, I get this. Cool. Now they're thinking, okay, this guy's marketable. And this doesn't matter if you land the job or not. It has nothing to do with that. This is to do with them being interested in you potentially doing it. That's all that matters. So every project that you're bidding on, Scott, I don't care if it's an old client, a new client, whatever, call 10 of your top agents that you want to be represented by. Call them and ask them their opinion. Don't tell them the client because you don't want them to swipe them from you because they will. Don't tell them the name of the client, but give them the parameters, ask them their opinion. This is how I got representation every time. It works like a charm. And what happens is, is either A, they're going to be, uh, they're going to give you good advice and then you can go out and bid on your own or whatever. Or B, they're going to say, hey, Scott, um, you know what? That's great. Do you want me to represent you on this one-off job? Or C, oh, you know what? How about you build a relationship? Maybe we do this... Um, you know, and you come aboard our roster and we can work together. Maybe they'll flat out ask you. But normally what it is, is they're going to ask you, B, they're going to say, hey, Scott, this is great. Let me represent you on this one job. And you know what? Why not? They're going to charge 20, 25% fee. I don't care. You know, I'd rather have them take a cut of something than not get the project because it's more likely you'll get it with an agent. Does that make sense, Scott? Yes. Yep. Cool. Cool. I just think that you need more content. Especially yeah. if you want to get into this whole lifestyle yeah. jam, it's all about Newport, more content. Yeah. Let's, all, let's all be in Newport Beach. Yep. yep. And and build it, keep building it and developing this world-class content. So he's joining me in Newport Beach. We're going to create more content just like this. And he's going to be creating epic 40 image cohesive body of work that's going to completely knock the socks off of the clients. So Scott, um, and, and by the way, since I have you on, um, you know, I would, since, you know, since obviously we're taking a look at these incredible images and, you know, where everything, everybody's wowed and dazzled about what you're shooting. And I, I hope that you've sent these out and are going to be winning awards too. Why don't you tell me, tell us all a little bit about, about the experience, what it felt like, what it was like to be there on set. And, you know, as far as the quality of the models, the experience, I'd, I'd love to hear, um, you know, your, your perspective on all of that. Yeah, sure. Um, you know, everything was great. Uh, no complaints uh, anywhere. I have done several workshops through my career uh, in Maine. Maine has a photographic workshop and in Santa Fe, I've taken several and it's also just a nice time to go do something, something different. But, uh, you know, Kevin's stuff is, uh, Kevin, your stuff is so, so high end. And the thing that impresses me the most is that you're there 
you've been there for me, um, you know, for the, all the, the back end stuff, which you don't hear about. You don't hear about the business. You don't hear about any of that type of stuff, like, you know, trying to do the rep thing. Um, you know, it was nice to experience, you know, you name names and you talk the money, you, you know, you're a real person. You don't really filter anything out, which I've always appreciated. Um, you know, I had said once, uh, you know, it's funny, again, I said earlier, I'm, a, I'm an ADD guy. So I get to look at these sets early. I'm, you know, the assistants are running around. I'm there to help out. What can I carry for you? What can I do? And nobody would let me carry anything. It was kind of funny, but, um, you know, it, it just, everybody was very polite. Everything was uh, super high end. And I, I, I don't know. I, I can't say anything better about it. It's just, it's just been a wonderful experience. Excellent. Now, what about your interaction, like with the models, with the stylists, and all that? Because part of this was all about um, building a uh, relationships with them too, and then shooting with world class top models that are easy to work with and stuff. Did you do you feel like they're easy to work with and fun to work with as well? Yeah, and, and in fact, you know, they worked a long hard day because there are, you know, several participants in the class. You know usually probably around 10 photographers. So, you know, these people get it's demanding for them and they were all super troopers through the whole day. Very, very impressive. You know, I'm working with all New York models next week. I'm, I'm used to, you know, higher caliber people, um, but they were all great. You know, everybody was fantastic. Great props, great styling. Um, you know, everybody did just a great job. Excellent. Excellent. Now, are there anything, anything that you learn? Because I know that like you personally shoot a lot of individual shots, like with the single models and stuff. We did a lot of group scenes. How was that experienced? Was it, did, did and, and tell me a little bit about the aspect of shooting with like, you know, some of these multi-model scenes and creating these more dynamic stories. Yeah. No, um, one thing that was great is people might not know the way Kevin works, you know, Kevin will often, set up the shot and what he thinks is the way he sees it and he'll help art direct it that way where you can take it uh, some of the shots that i've done i don't know if they're on the website yet or not but you know i grabbed the models and I had them all running towards me and I, you know they were chasing me down the beach um so i changed a little bit which was you know felt good that i actually did that but at the same point you know i i i saw where kevin started and i started shooting that way and i developed it and just just turned it a little bit and it was great you know i mean it just everybody is it's very professional, very positive. Everybody's happy to work together. And, um, you know, there's no, there's nothing negative about it. It's just, you know, professional business. So to me, it was just very natural. It's just a very natural flow. You know, I think a lot of people might be intimidated or something, but I wasn't intimidated at all by working with all these, all these people together. This is, they, they all work great together. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, um, do you, are you interested in doing more of these multi-model scenarios? Yes. As you know, you've said several times, you know, the larger production is the better, you know, we all can shoot one or two people, but to get, you know, three or four and a set and, you know, animals or whatever, you know, in there, the, the higher production value, the better it is. And it's going to separate all of us from the people who don't do that. Um, Absolutely. Production value. You mentioned that. Um, now, the, the, and can you tell me a little bit about the variation of production? Because I think this is the thing that surprises people the most is the variation of production and how different each day was than the other, because we were over the course of five days and the variation was pretty, um, pretty incredible. So um, can you tell us a little bit about the, you know, like, like we're looking at these images and these were all shot at the same workshop which is kind of insane. So uh, tell us a little bit about that as far as the variable aspect, because every day was like a different experience. Yeah, uh, that's exactly it. And you know, the, you see the beach stuff. It was like the first day and a half we were on the beach and um, that worked out great. You know, we had this amazing house right on the beach and we just went out and shot these models. Everybody, again, was, everybody was very positive, easy to work with, hair, makeup. Everybody was there right there on the beach. It was kind of funny because we were right amongst all the people laying in their blankets and uh, we kind of took over a couple spots, but um, you know, it just flowed very, very naturally. Um, we went to the airfield you see there in the middle on the right there. Um, those are two shots. I didn't know which one I wanted to shoot. So I shot both of those variations that are very, very similar. Um, I actually bought that watch and I just shot that today as a still life to, to blend with those. Oh, um, nice. But you know, there was so much to do in all these 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 places. That's an air museum, which was awesome. Again, the people there were more than happy to, to move the planes and spin them for us. And um, you had this 
a little race car come in, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, then on the, the left hand side, majority of the page there is the tribal stuff, which I was a little hesitant about, you know, because I thought it was going to be so different. And it was fun. It was very, very different. You know, and like I said, once upon a time before, you know, you put in these scenarios, you don't really feel comfortable going into, but you get some of your best stuff out of it. Um, it's just very different. And um, again, you know, Kevin started us off by showing this is what he sees, how he sees it. And then we would each take the model, maybe shoot something similar and then change them, try something different. Um, the shot in the middle there on the top, the girl walking, uh, you know, most people shoot it from the right hand side. I wanted to see her straight on. So, um, again, you know, it's nice just to change it around a little bit. Um, Absolutely. Huge variance here. Now, I definitely am in love with these images. These are world class and award winning. So have you sent these in to win awards? I did. The, uh, the last one just closed the One Island Award. And now the One Island Award has another um, another one just opened up. So um, I'll submit them to that as well. And Perfect. then uh, the other ones, you know, so it, it does help. I've won the One Island Award. Well, I don't know if I won it, but I, I was, you know, one of the high rank things in the One Island Award years ago for some of my stuff. But uh, yeah, I look forward to doing it again. Perfect. Because these are images will win awards. These are world class. Um, now, one thing I would suggest is that, you know, the, as incredible as these are, they're also so varied because you've got images all over the place. So definitely we want to yeah, uh, I need to categorize them and get them a little categorize them. I need more, yep. merch, I need more, more, more images to to kind of get them together. Correct. Correct. It's like, yeah, I mean, your, your jewelry is like very concise and very specific and, you know, very cohesive. Um, and when it comes to, uh, you know, the, is it where I was just on? Yeah, people, um, you know, they're incredible and incredibly strong talent, but the, um, the, the variation is so, so varied. Um, but, uh, but yeah, content like this, I want to see as much of this as possible. Just like really, really great lifestyle. Um, and then I would love to see a whole separate body of work of just this, this fantastic high fashion. This is really in right now and um, really, really powerful. Love this. I mean, this is absolutely breathtaking, Scott. Really impressive. So does that make sense with what I discussed with agency representation? Are you going to start using that method that I talked about? Yeah, definitely. For sure. It's just, you know, I, I need to get more of these images to show together. Um, I'm not quite there yet. You know, I need a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, so it's just adding more content. And and I would suggest that, you know, um, do you want to add more as, okay. So to lifestyle, obviously you're, you're, you've got some, you know, a great start to that. Do you, how did you feel about this fashion stuff? Do you want to do more of this? Yeah. If that's what you call this fashion. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, I look at it a lot of different ways. It's kind of environmental portraiture, you know, funky fashion. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy all of it, you know, so Again, I think that's where I need a little bit of help to um, either, you know, bounce things off of you and Priscilla um, and some of the local people I run into. So, you know, how do you see this? What do you think about it? Um, I know what I like about it, but I just kind of curious to see how it reads. You know, all these pictures that we take are so personal. Um, and for the longest time, I, I had some other images up before I knew you on the people category. I've taken, you know, 99% of them all down. Wow. See, that says a lot to me because you're such a talented photographer and the fact that you've removed them and added all these on is pretty, that's saying a lot. Well, I, I can tell you, I mean, this image to me, this is one of the most iconic and powerful images on your website. Um, this, I mean, an agent coming to see this, especially an agent that represents fashion photographers or a fashion brand or a magazine will be wowed and dazzled by this. I mean, the level, the quality of the model the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe, the horse, the location, every detail, and just the expression and the powerful aspect of her posing, it's breathtaking to me. You know, this, this is iconic, iconic image, you know, and I would love to see a whole portfolio of that. You know, it's so, so strong, right? Um, incredible images, massive scale production. I mean, when you see this, this is this is incredible. This is on um, one of the days that we shot at the workshop at the airfield. Absolutely insane. And um, incredible, incredible hair, makeup, feeling. Um, and uh, anyway, and then um, I also, this is, this is pretty dramatic too and incredible. Um, okay. And then of course you've got this, which is more of the tighter end shot, more of a jewelry shot. Right. Beautiful and that's because I do the jewelry shot. thing. I want to get some of these, so. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Um, fantastic. Well, I would love to, to see you create this systematic approach to building relationships with agents using every opportunity. And since you're already busy and you've got projects that do come in, I would use that every single time they come in, regardless of whether you are going to have an agent involved or not, I would call agents and start asking their opinions. Just don't tell them the brand. Just tell them about all parameters of the shoot. See how it goes. And trust me, Scott, you start doing that. You're such a likable guy. It's very very likely that you'll have um, agents interested in you. Great. Thank you. Ab absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Scott, I'm, I'm really proud. And, and I would say that the next step too is, you know, in addition, your Newport is going to be really transformative for you because it's everything you need with all that lifestyle content um, and really building it, really creating some, you know, uh, a, a very strong body of work of that. Um, I think that's really, really valuable. Um, I also would recommend um, getting involved in Newport Beach or in um, Miami Beach to join Newport Beach. Um, Miami is on resort lifestyle and um, also uh, in swim, um, as well as the Virginia Workshop, which is lined up like almost identical to Newport, um, but it's going to be flying in models from Miami and New York. So we get really, really top talent. Um, but uh, that would be, you know, because the way that I do these workshops is they all kind of work in conjunction with each other. So certain workshops work with other workshops. And in this case, um, you know, the the workshop of uh, Miami Beach works in conjunction really, really closely uh, to what we do with um, Newport. And then what we do in Virginia is lined up like identical to what we do in Newport Beach. So the cohesion is really uh, fantastic between between those workshops um, and uh, and what we're going to be doing in um, Virginia, uh, we this last year we just shot unbelievable content with um, all these top models that we flew in, and it'll be in the vein of this, where it's just happy, healthy models having fun, enjoying life, variance of age and demographic. Um, and also just creating these amazing stories. Uh, but this is going to be the Virginia experience. But thank you so much, Scott. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for jump, jumping on. You are a fantastic inspiration to everybody and your photography is award-winning. So keep me updated as those come in, um, as you win awards. And um, I'm also going to be submitting your content um, for uh, for future publications as well. So definitely send me the retouch pictures and um, I will keep you in touch about that too. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate you joining. All right, guys. So you heard it from uh, an incredible photographer, Scott Goodwin. Um, really proud of everything he's done and um, and the kind of level of quality and content. And he's already a world class photographer, but as you guys could see, that was pretty fantastic of what he just shot at the master class. In fact, I had, that was um, some of the first time I got to see some of those pictures. They were really, really, really fantastic and powerful. Um, I would like to uh, also answer any questions. If you guys have any any questions, um, please uh, ask in the Q and A, um, and uh, um, and please uh, you know go ahead and ask some some questions in the Q and A. Also, I would like to um, bring on the great Felinda Roy. Um, she's a, another brilliant photographer who has joined us at photographic workshops um, with us this past year. And um, Felinda, I know you've also been traveling around France and um, you have been photographing some incredible stuff. Um, now, Felinda, you joined us in uh, Miami Beach, isn't that right? Yeah, I joined you in Miami Beach last year. Perfect. So why don't you tell me about, first of all, I want to know what your goals are for 2023, what your, what, what kind of is the strategy for you or do you just have some goals you need to define and develop and build that strategy? I, my strategy for this year is I want to make uh, 160K um, this year. And um, for me, I've kind of broken that down as I would need to make 40K for, um, sorry, 40K each quarter to do that. And for me to do that, I'd need to get a minimum of four clients I'm assuming that my jobs would probably be more than 40K, but I figured that that would be a good starting point for me to um, do that. So I did the business plan and I went over it with uh, Priscilla last month. Perfect. So, um, Perfect. I love it. I love it. So I love that. She got right to the point. Felinda, thank you so much. You're a brilliant photographer. And I love hearing that perspective. You're just like, hey, I have these 
numbers that I have in mind. I already developed my business plan. She worked with one of our photographic consultants, Priscilla Evans, and she broke it down. Um, this is just an example one. This is one that um, I uh, we have on our website. So if you guys um, do want to take a look at this, it's photographyworkshopseries.com. Um, and uh, this is um, an example plan. You guys are feel free to lift this directly from our website and use this for your own um, photography business strategy plan, just like Belinda did. So Belinda, um, I, I love it. You broke it down. I think that's a very, very doable goal. Um, and, um, and I, and I really look forward to you achieving it. What do you have? Um, what is your systematic approach, Belinda, for, um, per quarter and per month and per week of like how many calls you're going to make to customers, how many, um, emails, um, are you going to set up meetings in person, zoom calls? What, what's your approach with that? Um, my approach with that is that I, uh, what I've started doing, I started doing on Monday is to email uh, 40 people this week and start doing follow-up calls. I was supposed to do some follow-up calls today, but not, some things came about. So um, I did send more emails out and I'm going to do a bunch of follow-up calls tomorrow. Um, several of the people that I emailed are still out of town. So basically what my strategy is, is for resort lifestyle. So I've been contacting hotels and resorts in the Maldives, a few here in Miami, a few um, in Barbados and the Caribbean. So those are the places that I am looking at right now to try to get some work. So perfect. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, Felinda, thank you so much. And by the way, we're looking at this content right now. Felinda is on our website and I'm really proud of what you shot. Um, this is some of the resort lifestyle that we shot in person at the Miami Beach experience. Tell me about this scene. Tell me about this, this epic scene because you obviously put it on the front of your website. It's, a, it's, it's incredible. It's iconic. It's powerful. The colors all work together. Tell me about how you felt about this great shot. Um, I felt really great about this shot. This was one of the shots that you kind of set up a little bit differently and I changed it up a little bit. Um, they were closer to the um, cabana, but we moved them further away just so I could get a really good background shot. So if I was showing that to a hotel that they could imagine their logo being on that, on the um, little circle there in the middle and they'd have a similar background because um, mainly I'm going for beach style resorts or island style resorts. I love it. I love it. And I know also, Felinda, you had asked me, I, I've been coaching you and helping you along with Priscilla about how to approach Maldives resorts, how to reach out to them, what would be like a forum template. I think I sent you a template email, right? Yeah. And I'm, that's the one I'm using right now. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and that that's really worked well for me. Um, and you've got such great content that I think that, Belinda, I think you're going to definitely have some success. It's just a matter of follow-up and then adding right. and continuously growing this epic portfolio. So really proud of what you created, um, all this amazing content. And, and as you guys can see, Belinda, just like Scott, they filled their website with content that they shot from the workshops. Um, and they basically, you know, Scott said he took down like 90% of his images of people. Um, and it looks like Felinda did the same. And I'm really glad you did that because Felinda, once you came on set and shot at this quality and level with these top models and this top storytelling, it really took your photography up a notch, didn't it? I feel like yeah. it really, because of the quality of the people you're photographing, it kind of like raised you up a whole nother notch and a whole nother level of quality because now clients have even more respect for you because like, oh, wow, you got to shot, shoot with those recognizable faces. These are big right. time models. And they were wowed and dazzled about what you're, you've shot. So when you showcase this to resorts in the Maldives or the Seychelles or you know anywhere around the world, this is stuff that gets them very excited because this is top quality. Very, very, very impressed. And I'm proud of you for developing a really powerful and strong brand. And, um, and also you have a systematic approach. So Felinda, you, you, you're really doing all the right things. Okay. okay. Um, and I would say, and how many days per, uh, per week are you reaching out? Like, are you spending time doing the marketing, the calling, the emailing, all that? Um, pretty much that's all I'm doing right now. Um, every day I spend maybe three hours every day doing Yay! The, that. Hour. Yes. I love it. So three. Um, you know, cause basically, I mean, before I knew that I needed to do marketing, but I never, I didn't know exactly how to do it. 
properly. And also, um, you know, I didn't realize I didn't have the proper images because most of the time I was doing test shoots myself with modeling agencies and I wasn't getting the top models or the best models. And, you know, I just didn't understand why I wasn't getting, um, you know, responses from anybody. And um, right after I shot the Miami uh, and I put some of these images up, I sent some of the marketing out. I did follow up a little bit, but not as diligently. And I got, you know, a couple of people that wanted to talk to me and we had Zoom calls. I just didn't know how to close it. So that's when I decided to get your webinar for closing. And I've followed some of those techniques and stuff too. So wonderful. Oh my God. I love it, Felinda. Um, and, and by the way, um, everything Felinda's saying is exactly what I want the whole audience to do is she's spending three hours a day reaching out to people. So Felinda, props to you. Thank you so much for investing in yourself because that is so key and critical. I'm really proud of you. And that's exactly what needs to be done. Um, and I think that that's exactly, it's what I do. I, I spend, you know, I, I can tell you guys what, in, in my experience, I, to be super successful as a photographer, you spend about 80% of your time in marketing and sales. I spend about 15% of my time in producing the shoots, meaning planning and coordinating them. 5% of my time shooting. Okay. And if you guys, if, if it's an unbalance and you're shooting 80% of the time, you're only marketing 15% of the time, it means you're not making enough money. So Felinda has an interest in making a certain financial goal. She has created great content. She even had just mentioned that her photography is now, um, she was marketing stuff before really diligently. It wasn't really picking up. And then she used the images from the workshops and all of a sudden now she's getting interest, getting excitement. So that's fantastic to hear. And I can understand why, because this content's gorgeous, Melinda. And then you're now systematically marketing it and you have a diligent uh, uh, plan in place to make sure that this is all going to work out. I'm really, 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 prob uh, really proud of you. I think that this is going to be, um, this is going to be freaking awesome. I'm, I'm really, really proud of what, um, what you've achieved and what you're going to achieve going forward. So, um, uh, so Felinda, was there a certain scene or sequence that you enjoyed at the workshop that really, uh, you know, that, that you remember or that you really loved? Was, was this the one? Was this your favorite scene? Yeah, that was that, that was definitely my favorite scene. It just seems like perfect. all the colors, you know, just went together. I mean, just, just perfectly. Absolutely. You know, and so, I mean, I think that and having the strong models just made that image just, or made those images just even more powerful. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed. I'm I'm wowed and dazzled about what you've created. It's it's absolutely stunning and um and it tells a story and it's also a multi-model sequence. Um right. so uh so so yeah, I mean tell me about like a lot of photographers love the fact like they can walk on set and they just have these unbelievable top models and production at your fingertips. How did that feel having everything taken care of for you? Top models, art direction, storytelling. You've got top assist assistants there to help you with everything you need. Do you feel like that was really helpful to achieve these yeah. goals with great images? No, I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, it was very helpful. Um, it was easy to build a rapport with the models before we started shooting. So once you start shooting with them, it's a little bit, it's easier, but since, you know, they're already top level models you don't really have to warm them up too much. They're already, you know, turned on and you can get the images you want pretty much, you know, every time every scene is set up, you know, straight away. You may have to tweak it a little bit, but, you know, that's what you do on a photo shoot to get the best images that you need. Absolutely. So, but I mean, it was just really, really good. Didn't have to worry about um, lighting too much. You mean the assistants were there holding the scrims and, you know, you could have them adjust it and have them adjust the light exactly. And they were also seeing what you were seeing. So, you know, they would ask you if you needed to, them to move one way or another way to get the light just right. So, I mean, it, I mean, it was really cool working with a large team because I think we had three or four assistants and I've never worked on a shoot with more than one, uh, one assistant. So. Awesome. Awesome. And, and that definitely helps, right? When you have a huge yeah. crew at your fingertips, you're able to get even, you know, more complex and better 
uh, production. So, um, and, and by the way, these are really great stories. Like if you guys are just noticing all the nuance and art direction, the expressions and the models, the styling, the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe, the colors, the locations, it all lines up really well together. And Felinda, these look like major advertising campaigns to me. And you did an amazing job. I'm really proud of you. And this is content that's going to be very, 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 very marketable. Also, I think the swim content too. Were you there for the swim days as well? Yeah, uh -huh. that's towards the end. If you go a few more times, yeah. I was there for the swim content. And, and I think that's actually really valuable for someone like you who's shooting for these like resorts, which are great tropical resorts where it's not just people in, you know, resort wear, but also in swimwear. They use a lot of that in the Maldives and elsewhere. Um, with, uh, in fact, I'm flying to the Maldives in, um, uh, like 12 days, um, and I'm going to be shooting and filming there. Um, and they do a lot of stuff with swim as well as resort wear. So it's very popular. Love this yeah. image. This is really stunning, very complex. Um, you know, very, very fantastic storytelling here. Um, and then, there oh yeah, go. here you go with your swim and, um, you know, beautiful content. Um, with the swim photography. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I love this. This is just obviously from that from that scene. So excellent, Felinda. Really proud of everything you've done. And um, I, I can't wait to see you at the, um, you know, some upcoming experiences. You know, yeah, I think I'll that- I'll be at Newport. Be, yeah. Yep. Yep. So Newport. And um, I think it's going to be just brilliant, the content, because it's going to work really well in conjunction with this. And if you can jump in and join us at um, Miami again, too, I would love that, too, because I think it would it would continuously add. It'll be whole different production, right. different, different everything. Um, and it'll add to that resort lifestyle. So I look forward to seeing you there as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, all right, Felinda, I'm I'm really proud, and I think that um, you know you're right on track. Honestly, you're exactly the the story that I want to hear, and I would recommend everybody out there that's listening right now do exactly what Felinda's doing. Okay, the, the whole systematic approach, three hours a day reaching out. She's developed her mind blowing portfolio. She's doing a series of workshops that are benefiting her portfolio and her brand. If brands already benefiting. And she's going to be um, using this content to, to, to land the kind of dream opportunities. So thank you so much, Felinda. I really appreciate you jumping on and joining me. And also, um, and the last thing I wanted you to, to mention is you, you, you talked about the closing the deal workshop, um, which is something that uh, I'm a huge advocate of attending. I know um, you got to attend that. And basically, we do these six-hour intensives because there's only so much I can talk about in person at a workshop. So Felinda enrolled in the Closing the Deal workshop. Um, Felinda, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the, the Closing the Deal and Booking More Clients workshop, how that's, what kind of, did, did that shed some light on anything that, are there anything that you remember from that that you feel that you're really incorporating into your business this year? Um. Yeah, it did. I mean, it did shed some light, uh, help me figure out how to do emails, like how to get the subject line and how to find the, um, you know, we talked about how to find the right, sorry, I can't think right now, um, how to find the decision maker and what to do and how to talk to them. It gave me that information, but it also talked about, which I really liked about, you know, if they have an objection to something that it's really not an objection, find out what that issue actually is. And, you know, just kind of talk it out with them. I was afraid to do that before. I mean, before the workshop, if they said, well, you know, you're really not the right photographer right now. Um, you know, I would have probably went, well, okay, thanks. Bye. But now I know like, well, what is it about my photography that's not working for you you know what do you want to see more of because I probably have that in my book I would not have said that before you know T totally and, totally so you've adjusted you know, what you're saying to the customer yeah uh, you know just to find out what I mean I mean and find out what they're actually looking for you know they did set up a zoom call with me so you know I want to be able to get to know them, build a relationship. You know, two or three of the people um, have told me, you know, just keep sending us new stuff, what you're mm -hmm. doing. I actually got in contact with one of the hotels that, and I'm probably going to mess this up, LVHM, and, mm -hmm. you know, you know, LVHM 
one of the hotels that they own and I've been sending them contact and I, I mean content and I have a relationship with um, that um, creative director now. I mean, she said they weren't doing anything in 2022. So um, I've got to start sending her some more stuff again to see if I can get on their calendar or get another call in with them for this year. And perhaps I can shoot um, either the hotel I was going for or maybe a smaller hotel, you know, so. Excellent. Excellent. So you've incorporated, the- you know, into your whole sales strategy. Um, and, and it's great because what Felinda's talking about is during uh, they, the, this workshop, we go in depth about a systematic approach of how to actually close the deal and book the job with the client, what to say, how to say it. Um, and you know, basically the, the process that most photographers would never know how to do, which is not just brand yourself, market yourself, but actually close and book the jobs. And that's absolutely key. And I'm really glad you took that one, Felinda. I would even watch it again and refresh yeah. your memory for it so that like, you know, you've got, you're totally fresh for 2023. Um, I think that's key. And I'm really, really glad that you um, mentioned that. So if you guys are interested in this too, um, these epic um, uh, six hour intensives, we have them on uh, closing the deal. We have, uh, have you done any other ones or just closing the deal, Felinda? Um, no, I did the marketing one too, marketing for photographers. Perfect. So she's done marketing for photographers. We have closing the deal. We have posing art direction and storytelling, um, retouching, and then branding for photographers. Um, and these are all key and critical components. They're six hour intensives. They're ones that I am a huge proponent of because in addition to everything you get in the in-person experiences, all of these amazing experiences that you get on these six hour intensives, they're $12.95. Um, if you enroll um, today and get, um, because you attended the webinar, you can actually enroll with a $300 discount. So it's only $9.95. And the best part about this is that $1,000 goes as a 100% credit towards any of the five day workshops. So this is you know one of the great things because it ends up being free. When photographers like Belinda um, or Scott come to a workshop, they can use this as a credit towards a workshop if they enrolled in this one. Um, and um, Or if you guys enroll in a five-day workshop, we can throw you one of these in for free because this is really valuable. It's something that I recommend you guys all watch because I love these. I think they're really important for photographers like Felinda and Scott, and you can see what they've used to incorporate into their strategy. So fantastic. I love it. If you guys are interested in that, click on the link in the chat and we can set up a um, a photographic one-on-one free strategy session with one of our photographic consultants. I know um, Felinda and Scott have both mentioned they've worked with Priscilla, and um, we have a team of amazing photographic consultants that help coach, mentor, and guide you totally for free. Normally, it costs you know, oftentimes a couple hundred dollars an hour to have a photographic consultant. We do it totally for free and um, we help guide you whether you enroll in workshops or not. But this is something that um, we're a huge advocate of helping guide you along the way, help you achieve this kind of success that you've always wanted to. Thank you so much, Felinda. I'm glad you attended marketing. You attended closing the deal. Um, and I know um, you, and Miami was a huge success for you and I can't wait to see you at Newport. I also look forward. I hope you join us in um Uh, Miami and Virginia too, because I think that'll help kind of close out the full lifestyle portfolio. Cool. Thank you. Excellent. Thanks for joining me, Felinda. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Um, And and, uh, and by the way, um, if you haven't answered in the poll, I always love to hear how likely you guys be to enroll in one of these epic workshops, one to 10, 10 being I'm ready to enroll. Um, I always love to hear about that. Um, and, uh, I think that, um, you know, obviously these are a huge, huge point of success for our photographers to achieve greatness. Um, whether you want to do a five day experience or even just a virtual workshop, just to, you know, to get your foot in the door and start right now, um, and kind of start working. So, um, uh, all right. I, um, I, I want to get into kind of last facets of some of the stuff that um, we're talking about for 2023. I know we got to talk about this in depth with photographers that have attended workshops, which I love because then we can give one-on-one coaching live so you guys all get to see and hopefully you guys can take some of this away so that at the end, you guys can feel like, all right, you know, I can incorporate, I have a similar experience that Scott did or a similar experience to Felinda. They are right on the right track. And I can tell you what, they will both have a very successful year in 2023 um, because of the content they've created at the workshops, because of what they're incorporating into their strategy for their business, their marketing, and they're closing the deal. All very, very important.
Okay. So um, I know I talked about a lot of stuff with portraits, personal branding, commercial photography, fashion photography. I also wanted to talk, and we even talked a little bit about tourism. Right now, people are traveling more than ever before, and this is fantastic. So um, someone like um, Belinda is going to capitalize on this because the tour in tourism industry is absolutely crushing it right now. And businesses that are in tourism um, are making record profits. So it's a it's a very um, it's a very good time um, to be in that space, uh, just because the amount of being spent is absolutely astronomical when it comes to tourism. Um, so, guys, I want you guys to start to really focus on um, your goals as far as what do you want to achieve in 2023? What does the financial goal look like? Are you going to set up a business strategy plan? If you haven't, please click that link and you can set up a business strategy plan with one of our professional photographic consultants. It's totally free and you can get one-on-one -on -one with them and talk about some of your goals, some of your dreams, what you want to achieve and how you want to get there. Um, that's something that I think is really important and fantastic. Um, and I would love to help coach you guys um, and make your dreams a reality. All right. Um, now, the other thing, the last thing I did want to talk about was the wedding industry. Okay. So for those of you who are on here who are wedding photographers or have any um, aspect of interest in wedding photography. Um, now, I uh, I happen to be very involved in the wedding industry. Uh, you know, I, I um, early on in my career, I I started out you know doing portraits and senior pictures and weddings when I was you know 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. Um, but these days, not only um, am I interested in weddings, I don't photograph them anymore. But I own a forty nine room castle in France, and we host high-end million-dollar weddings. So we also book photographers uh, for $15,000 to $20,000 photographic uh, packages where a photographer is earning that kind of money and staying at our Epic Castle for free, photographing mind-blowing content um, for our customers. So um, I happen to own a 49-room castle. So for me, the wedding industry is very, very important. It's dear to my heart, and it's something that I am heavily, heavily invested in. And for the wedding industry, I can tell you what, there is more money being spent than ever before in the wedding industry. So right now, if you are a wedding photographer, the wedding industry is crushing it. It's because there's so much pent up demand during COVID. All of the um, people that obviously couldn't marry during COVID, they've been marrying and scheduling their weddings for 2022, 2023, 2024. And oftentimes a lot of venues were totally sold out this last year. So in 2023, there are huge amounts being booked and into 2024. So I definitely recommend if you are a wedding photographer, now is the time to capitalize. I also recommend you increase your prices. With inflation going up, it's a great opportunity because obviously the cost for you for everything is going up. Make sure to increase your prices to stay up with inflation. And I think that most photographers, you should have packages ranging from $5,000 to $15,000. If you don't feel comfortable with a $15,000 wedding package, then at least you know up to 10 or 12,000. But if you're doing any weddings for anything less than that, you should be, you're essentially giving it away and you're working for minimum wage. And I don't think that you deserve that. You deserve more. So I highly recommend for those of you guys who are interested in wedding photography, um, now is the time. And I strongly recommend getting involved in one of our epic experiences to develop yourself as a world-class photographer, world-class fashion or lifestyle photographer that just happens to shoot weddings. And I've had a tremendous of photographer, amount of photographers do this and develop content that will market them. And in fact, we also have an elite experience at my dream castle, my 49 room castle in France, where we have a six day, five night experience. We have a Michelin star chef. We have a masseuse in the Southeast tower. Um, it's a six day, uh, five night experience. And um, you'll be photographing with um, top supermodels from Milan and Paris, staying at my castle and creating unbelievable, mind-blowing content uh, with a Renaissance and Baroque era 
feeling story. And this is something we're going to be bringing in Frisian horses. Uh, we're going to be bringing in um, uh, carriages with the horses. We have laneways um, covered in ivy on the perimeter of the castle. It is an unbelievable experience. Um, and the inside is mind blowing. So if you guys are um, interested in developing your wedding brand, I would suggest the French Dream Castle, as well as the New York Fashion Experience as well as the Elite Masterclass, as well as Chicago, all offer the opportunity for you to photograph mind-blowing high fashion content where you can become a world-class fashion photographer that just happens to shoot weddings, rather than just a run-of-the-mill wedding photographer like everybody else. I want you to be branded higher as a nationally published, award-winning wedding uh, fashion photographer that happens to shoot weddings. That will take you up to a whole new echelon in your photography. And we have a lot of photographers actually that attend the New York experience that also are into portraits and weddings because they want to have that high tier face, those incredible models in their portfolio takes them up a notch. And I, these are all shot actually at this workshop this year um, at, we're shooting at this $40 million mansion in Greenwich and creating this just content that was absolutely world renowned. Really exciting. Um, so guys, I, I'm really um, excited about um, about this year. I'm really excited for 2023 because it's going to be the best year yet ever photographically. And I think that um, the economy um, in the photographic industry is going to boom because there is so much opportunity for photographers and directors alike, so much pent up demand, so much with inflation, with money, uh, everything is just blowing up as far as what you can charge and clients are paying it. They won't, do not want to be left behind. And now is the time to become the greatest version of your photographic self and to achieve greatness in your photographic career. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to work personally with you in person and online through our epic virtual workshops. And I look forward to having amazing experiences with you, just like I've done with Scott and Felinda and thousands of other incredible photographers that have been able to transform their photographic careers over the last 14 years of directing these elite workshops. Take care, guys. And I can't wait to see you again.